day Ugh. guys i remember feeling so defeated i was just yo <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Maid. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel and join the family. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back again. Today we're doing a bit of a story time. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna talk about my YouTube journey. This is something that a lot of you, especially those of you that are also YouTubers, have been asking me to do, like how I got here like just basically talk about my experience doing YouTube and everything and for a while I've been putting it off because I am not like I, I don't feel like I'm a knowledgeable person when it comes to everything like YouTube related and whatnot but um, I am willing to share my story my experience where I started um, what I did what I didn't do and where I am now now so I started my YouTube channel in 2018 in February 2018 but before that I had actually uploaded a video like in 2017 like I think around October November 2017 I uploaded a video I remember that video very well it was how to bullet journal um, I was really passionate about bullet journaling at that time I have always been like productivity um, centered and everything that i've always done has always been about productivity like my channel i've always wanted it to be about productivity and so i i, I filmed that video i uploaded it and i'd never shared it with anyone <laughs> um and you know the funny thing is for the longest time i wanted to actually start a youtube channel like i always knew like from like from way way back in high school i don't know if you guys used to watch youtube, YouTube at the time but i used to watch patricia bright there was a video that she did where she talked about how she was brightening her skin using vitamin c serum and lemon serum and all these other serums that she was using um so way 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 back then if you go and look for those videos on her channel now you won't find them they're not there but back 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 then that's um when i started watching youtube and i used to be like okay this is what i want to do like i want to be on youtube but i want to do like productivity related videos end of 2017 beginning of 2018 like that time between fourth year and third year is the time that i was like no i should start so i was now like looking into it like how should i start how could i start i was now watching even more youtube but at that time the youtube videos that were doing really well were the jackie Einers, the michlalis those are the people that people were watching like lifestyle fashion beauty content that's what everyone was watching and then i started watching videos on how to be on youtube and all that and then i discovered like all the information that i needed i got all the information like the cameras you need the lighting you need and i was in china so getting these things was easier it's obviously quite cheaper than everywhere else it's not cheap but it's cheaper um so i had been saving my money and eventually in 2017 um end of 2017 i bought myself a dslr and so i knew that one day i'll be doing youtube like properly so i was like why not start investing in myself now so i used money that i had worked for um and all that and i bought myself a canon 650d and then i bought like um the lights that i'm using now i'm using a box light here i bought a ring light i bought two box lights and a ring light and the dslr and then i eventually also got a 50 milliliter lens but that was later on when i was also doing instagram and all that so i bought all these things and i remember they arrived like on a friday and then on the saturday i was like yes i'm filming did i know how to use the stuff oh my god <laughs> like i remember i was there trying to set it up and yo it just things were not working like the, the lights were not cooperating with me embarrassing story i didn't know that you needed like specific lights for the box light i thought you just put like any random light bulb from a hardware and you put it in there so i went i remember i ran on my e-bike i ran to metro i bought like the smallest light bulbs they were like the small the cheapest ones i put them and it didn't make a difference like it didn't do anything i don't know you had to like get like led lights and you know all like specific lights for um the box lights but anywho um so in the end i was like you know what no i'm gonna use my phone so this is the phone that i used to film my first video and it's the phone that i still have now this is a iphone 7 um the red edition um so yeah that's what i used back in 2017 to film my first video wow i've had this phone for three years anyway um so i used that the the video itself it wasn't bad like 
the quality was obviously rubbish because I didn't know how to do much and then um, I edited it, I uploaded it. The video actually ended up getting like 1,000 views, but I never shared it with anyone. Like it was there for months. And my sister used to laugh at me like, uh, if you're on YouTube, but you don't want people to see that you're on YouTube, you know, this type of thing. And it was always like that. Like I wanted to start, but I was scared like what people would say. And I feel like maybe this is like gonna branch off a little, but it wasn't that I was scared of what people I was, were gonna say, but the people that were closest to me, excuse me. The people that were closest to me at the time were very negative about my youtube thing let me not say everyone because obviously my sister my mom was supportive like some of my friends were supportive but some of my friends at the time were like ah you you want to do youtube but you don't do makeup you don't do um beauty so no one is gonna watch your videos my boyfriend at the time laughed at me he mocked me he was like you're not a youtuber i don't see you doing youtube like he was a very like now that i look back at like that whole relationship like that guy was just a very negative person and all this negative vibes and i think that's part of the reason that it took me so long to eventually start because obviously if you want someone every day who's telling you you won't make it you won't do it you won't make it you won't do it and so but thankfully i'm a really stubborn person i'm a person who i don't care what you say i don't care who you think you are in my life if i say i want to do something i want to do it um so yeah eventually i just kept on and i'm so glad that i decided to just do it and um so yeah i posted my video and then i deleted it and then with some motivation and some just like it took like a really like big leap of faith just be like you know what i want to do this i'm gonna own it so in february 2018 i restarted my channel like i properly started my channel i named it naturally caitlin for everyone to see i uploaded my get to know me tag in february 2018 i remember that day so well i'd gone shopping um i came back in the evening and i filmed the video it was dark as hell i switched on all the lights in the house and I filmed that video. The quality is so bad. I can't, I've never rewatched really that video because it's that bad. But it's still on my channel right now. It's the first video you'll see. And I filmed it and I uploaded it and I shared it with everyone. And like literally within 24 hours, I had 100 subscribers. Like it was mostly like my friends, people that knew me, my family and everyone. But it was still 100 subscribers. And I was like, oh, wow, you know. And so I uploaded my video. It got views. Obviously, people were interested. Some people were like, wow, congrats. You know, people were excited for me. Others were like, oh. Hmm. okay you know there was obviously the two sides and everything and then um another side of this whole situation is the fact that i've always been a very 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 private person i've always been that person that does not want to share anything about my personal life my private life my like even just sharing some things sometimes i feel like this is oversharing i don't like sharing my plans i don't like sharing what i'm doing what i'm going to do before i do it and i'm still like that now and so that's one thing that till now really like challenges me and really um limits me in terms of like growth on social media because i'm just like no i don't want to share this even if it's things that a lot of people seem to share normally um i am a very private person i've always been like that i've always been some people even used to call me secretive but i'm not secretive i just feel like my life is none of your business um me not telling you something doesn't mean i'm hiding it from you it just means that it's got nothing to do with you it's my life i can live it how i want and i want to live it how i want you, you get um so i don't feel like putting my things out there sometimes and so that if you're a person who's on social media and a person who's growing it can be a really it can be a problem actually it can be a very big problem so i had to like be like okay i want to make my profile public I want to do social media, but I want to share what I want to share. I want to share my productivity. I want to share my life, my personal details, and all those things. Um, and so, yeah, that's how that started. And so, at the end of 2018, I had 400 subscribers. And literally, I used to celebrate every 10 like subscribers that I got. Like, if I was 120 and then 130 and then 140 i would be so happy because people used to tell me at the beginning that you'll never go anywhere you'll never reach under subscribers you never you know these are the things i was being told and so i started believing those things obviously because i was like wow so people really don't watch my kind of content and so i really believe that people weren't watching my kind of content and the reason that i had started my channel in the first place was because i'd never found my kind of content because people weren't making my kind of content or at least that's what i believed but eventually i started to see that no anyone can be on youtube you can post anything on youtube i'm um, sorry i'm just getting really comfortable um you can post anything on youtube you can do whatever you want on youtube okay it's whoever wants to see what they want to see from you will look for it and whoever wants your content will find it and they'll watch it um not everyone is watching beauty and and lifestyle and and all that and i've learned that now two years later 
so at the end of the year i had 400 subscribers most of my videos had like a little over 100 views and all that and i was really happy i was part of myself i was i, I was making progress and so now people were like oh and then at that time that's the time that youtube said that they were going to be um, cracking down like on monet monetization they want to make it a little stricter a little harder to get in so for you to be monetized on youtube you need to be in a region that's you know in the youtube partner program first of all and then you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time in a year period i didn't have that i was i didn't even have 500 subscribers i had 400 subscribers from february to december 2018 i only got 400 subscribers so i started 2019 with my 400 subscribers and i was posting i was pushing um you know things were going well well at least you know it it was going well for me my classmates used to mock me sometimes and they'll make fun of me some used to tell me that oh you you're not a serious medical student you just do videos and post stethoscopes and whatever <laughs> um yeah like i just kept going like i one thing that is a constant for me and that's i'm really grateful for is the fact that i just kept going I kept pushing I didn't care like I did not care what nobody was saying if I was listening to what people were saying I would have stopped like back then when my boyfriend at the time had told me don't do YouTube like it's not good for you it's not gonna help you you're not gonna succeed it's not gonna be for you type of thing I would have stopped back then but I just kept going I kept going and I was like if I've started I might as well keep going and like I already said I had a vision with my channel okay I had I knew that one day I'm gonna be somewhere so fast forward to um mid or towards the end of 2019 i was still growing i was now approaching 1000 subscribers um remember i started 2019 with 400 subbies and in october or august september october 2019 my camera got stolen the camera that i worked so hard for the camera that i invested in today ugh, guys i remember feeling so defeated i was just yo I was like till now sometimes like it really gets to me and it's not about the camera it's about the fact that i worked hard for that money guys it just <sighs> my camera anyway um so i don't have a camera now and this is me making a decision like okay i want to be really serious on my youtube now i want to do better i'm not in like formal school so i have more time after work i can film videos and stuff and then now i have no camera so i was back to filming vlogs on my phone the quality obviously wasn't good um, but it's not like my videos had been good before well, at least I didn't believe that they were good and then um, so yeah I kept pushing and then at the end of the year um, around Christmas time I was like no I'm gonna buy myself a camera like I'm starting 2020 with a vlog camera I don't care what kind of camera I'm gonna buy but I'm gonna buy one and I, I had been wanting to buy a vlogging camera which is the for me the g7x which i had been seeing in reviews on youtube so that's what i wanted to buy and so i was like i want to buy this so i used my money again that i'd worked hard for <laughs> i used that and i bought the canon g7x which is what i'm actually filming this video now it's what i filmed most of my sit downs all of my sit downs actually most of my videos this year have been filmed with my new camera and um so i got that and then in december i bought it in china and then it arrived like in january um this year and so by the end of december like december 31 2019 i had 1000 subscribers so i started 2020 with 1000 subscribers i had just hit 1000 subscribers and my watch hours was still like not you know at the youtube partner monetization um requirement i still had a long way to go i think i only had like 2000 and something hours of watch time so i really had i needed people to watch my videos so i started sharing my videos i started you know posting more i did i really like at the beginning of this year if you guys watched my first video of this year where i was talking about i want to be coming on here with no makeup i don't care what people say i don't care what people say i must do what people think i am being productive this year i'm doing what i want and i'm going for it and i don't care like that's the attitude that i started this year with and that's where i still am now i post my videos and i go if you don't like it don't watch my videos if you don't like me don't watch my videos like that's the the attitude that i had and that's i feel like that really helped me because i really had a lot of people like to get me down i really had a lot of people to like just like you know put their little opinions in my head and i was starting to you know when someone tells you something all the time it's very easy to say oh no i'm not gonna let it get to me if someone as strong as i am can be sit here and tell you oh people were telling me this before telling me that it was affecting me that's how you know like it really was so yeah i i had to keep pushing i had to keep going 
and um, then I posted my next video one of my next videos was my morning routine and that's a video that I had been wanting to do for a long time because my morning routine I felt like was unique and I again productivity is what I wanted to post because I feel like that's what I do um, I posted that video I shared it and yeah um it got it got more views than normal like like i already said my normal views were like around the 300s at this point when i had the thousand subscribers and so um eventually it got like five thousand subscribers uh, five thousand views and it kept growing it kept growing so i kept posting i kept posting i was posting every week this year um i i was really trying to be consistent and then um so i was the reason i was being consistent is because i wanted like people to view my videos and because i'd actually reached 1000 subscribers for me that was like a huge mouse and i was like wow i can actually get monetized on youtube so let me try let me push and see if i can actually get monetized and so eventually on the 19th of june i qualified like i had reached the 1000 subscribers already obviously and then i had now got the 4000 hours of watch time that i needed and so yeah i submitted my application or whatever they reviewed the channel and then i was accepted for the monetization program and so they send you an email that congratulations blah blah blah, blah, blah. Um, we're gonna send you a pin so that you can verify your account they literally send you a pin via mail who sends mail in this day and age you guys like they send it via like post like normal post not like date or anything they send via post and so they sent it in june and this is like a whole pandemic going on so obviously things are even slower um so yeah it only arrived yesterday on the 25th of august this is today is the 26th of august is when i'm filming this um so my pen arrived yesterday after having been sent on the 19th of june so that's literally a whole two months to arrive and so yeah i got monetized in june after i got monetized my views for that morning routine video they just started going up like they had started going up that week that i started getting monetized so those views actually helped me to um reach the monetization but i feel like after i got monetized like they just like it, they shot like my views shot up i remember i was studying because that's the time that i had graduation exams i was studying 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 and then my phone just kept buzzing like i kept like it kept buzzing because people were now subscribing to my channel like i opened my ch and by the by the way at the beginning of this year i had said that my goal for my youtube is i wanted five thousand subscribers and i wanted to get many times um so i had now reached 2000 subscribers um in june and so in like when i got monetized and then reached 2500 and then 2000 and 2500 literally in two days guys i got to like my goal like 5000 subscribers i i reached it like i was sitting i opened my phone i had 2500 the next time i opened my phone i had 5000 the next time i opened my phone it was 7000 like that week was crazy i was growing i was gaining like over a thousand subscribers a day like that week it was crazy my exam was on the 24th of june and i got monetized on the 19th of june so between the 19th of june and the 24th of june i went from 2000 something subscribers to 10,000. when i wrote my exam i had reached 10,000 subscribers and my plan was after the exam i'm gonna go and buy the balloons do a shoot whatever and be happy because i was so excited but i couldn't share that excitement because in june i wasn't posting i was going through a lot um, in terms of just life in general and then I also had my graduation exams to worry about so I don't want to like also stress about YouTube so I just removed myself from social media for like the whole of June um, and so I was focusing on that that's why I didn't post in June and while I wasn't posting all this was going on and so I went up with my beliefs when I came back doing my shoot I had 12,000 subscribers I was like okay so I went on with my shoot and the next day I had 15,000 and then like it started slowing down um towards the end of june and so like it was literally like a week that took me like from 2000 to legit like 15,000 um, subscribers it was crazy and then my video eventually reached 500,000 views i was mind blown and then july things kind of slowed down and now i had time i was done with exams i wanted to see like okay how does this work if i post twice a week what's going to happen um so i was posting twice a week in july and because it was still like that unstable state, i wasn't sure like is all this happening because i've blown up or is it because i'm posting twice so i wasn't sure and then but this month i feel like things have kind of like slowed down and i'm back to a point where i gain like about 100 subscribers a day and um so i feel like this is the new normal for me um um, between July and now I reached 20,000 subscribers I think a week or two ago and so basically in a month I got from but again I, I don't know like it's it was crazy honestly like there's no formula for these things I feel like everyone's growth is different and I think maybe this is where you guys come from like what did I do how did I do it guys I like I just posted I kept posting until one day one of my videos made it out there and I feel like that's 
I understand now when these big YouTubers tell you just be consistent, just keep posting because you don't know which video, you can't plan to say this is the video that's gonna go viral and it's gonna, you know, make me grow on YouTube. You just have to be consistent and post and like just don't give up, just keep posting and one of your videos will blow up eventually one day. For me, it took me two years. A lot of, I know people like my own sister, she started her channel and got 1,000 subscribers in less than a year. <laughs> like, I started my channel two years ago and I only hit 1,000 this year. And then I also blew up within six months and now I have 20,000 subscribers. So there's no formula, guys. Like, you just have to know why you started the channel in the first place. Know why you're doing it. If you start the YouTube channel because you wanna make money, and whatever i don't think you're gonna be successful i don't think you're gonna be happy at all and also don't do it for the money because you'll be making literally like tens of dollars or even like just a few dollars like for you to get paid out you need to get a threshold of hundred dollars a month and if you don't make hundred dollars in that month you don't get paid essentially um and it's not everyone who's gonna reach that threshold okay you need to grow and you need to like really work hard on youtube and so don't do it just because of the money because it's going to be really depressing when you don't make that money that you were really wanting to make and so yeah this is my youtube journey this is my experience there was no formula for me one thing i would say is i would be more confident and just like post people that want to watch your content are gonna find you people that look for your content are, are there so you just create your content post it don't start conforming to say okay this is what's this is what's popular let me post that don't do that because if unless that's why you're starting for the money then i guess you can do that but if you really want to grow on youtube if you really want to be on youtube post your content stick to your whatever it is do that post that and you know be good at that um don't let the the hustle of money and whatever demotivate you don't let people demotivate you be confident in sharing your posts um you know boost your own content i this is something that i still struggle with i sometimes find it hard to like share my own content and feel like shy like oh i'm gonna say but i've had to learn to be more confident even like when it comes to forming in public like i used to be shy to form in public because people especially in africa people just be weird they look at you funny and i don't know it's just strange but now i was even filming in the gym i even had the instructors filming me and everything and so yeah you really have to just be yourself do yourself do your thing and just own it own your journey so that was my youtube journey you guys honestly don't listen to people that tell you you need to do this and then this and then this and then that there's no formula to youtube youtube is different for everyone um people that have the same number of subscribers they got there differently at different speeds at different rates using different methods um do what works for you if you find that posting twice a week works for you post twice a week if you find posting once a month works for you post once a month do you okay and don't let people stop you don't let people tell you oh this is not going to get views because who are they are they the world they're not the world they're not going to be the ones watching the video they're just one person in the world of millions um so yeah that's <laughs> that's what i have to say i guess that was my story time my youtube journey my youtube experience T looking back things i would do differently i would definitely post more i would definitely like share my videos more i definitely would be more confident in sharing my content because one thing that used to derail me was the fact that i thought like my videos were crap i thought like the quality was bad i thought they weren't good i thought no one would be interested and so I, I'd be scared to share them because I feel like a lot of things see it and then they're like, what is this nonsense now? You know, type of thing. Not because I was shy that I was on YouTube, but I was shy that what I was producing wasn't good enough. Um, but we will actually find that what you think isn't good enough is perfect to someone else. Um, so there's that. And yeah, <laughs> I'm very grateful for everyone who supported me on my journey, everyone who subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you guys uh everything like it's been overwhelming like going from a thousand subscribers to twenty thousand in the space of like two months three months is crazy <laughs> it's <laughs> i'm not used to it yet i want to do a giveaway real soon hopefully when borders open and things normalize i want to do an international giveaway um so yeah hopefully i'll be able to do that so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this is my experience uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.